um, I became a father a few years ago, um, well, about three years ago now, my wife and I had our first daughter, and that, that was an experience. Um, and so I'm gonna talk a little bit about my own fatherhood experience, but then I'm also gonna share some, some data and stats around the importance of father engagement uh, for the betterment of infant and maternal health. When fathers are not involved, babies, infants, um, or moms, are two, two times greater chance of infant mortality, right? So when dads were not involved, families are four times more likely to live in poverty. Why is that important? Because as we talk about infant and maternal health, I mean, the, the conditions and the quality of life that we're able to live, well, that, that impacts the kind of care that mom is gonna yeah. give. But one of the things that really stuck out to me as I was preparing to be here today was the fact that black women in the United States are 50% more likely uh, to have a premature baby than their white counterparts. And the other thing that really got me was the fact that black babies are twice more likely than white babies to die before their first birthday. And so my wife and I, we have a three-year-old, but we also have a eight-month-year-old, or well, eight-month-old. <laughs> so, so for me, it really hits home because I have an African-American wife, right? And so when she was pregnant, when, when my wife found out that we were pregnant, I just see, we were pregnant uh, back in early 2022, uh, we were excited. And then fast forward into August, my wife goes into preterm labor. And so she's nervous, I'm nervous, we're both afraid. We're trying to figure out what, what needs to happen next. And so she has about five, 10 different doctors coming into the room telling her, okay, okay this is what we gotta do to get you, get you going. Um, and so for both of us, we're again, really nervous. We're praying together. And, and you know, in that moment, I sort of felt help, helpless as a dad, right? Like there, there really wasn't much I could do um, but when I spoke to my wife the other day, I said, you know, when, when we were having that experience, like what, what was important to you about my involvement? She said, you know, just you being there, right? Mm -hmm. Like you being kind of the, the calm voice, so to speak. And I, I was I was scared. Uh, but but one of the things I realized is that I couldn't show her how nervous or emotional I was because that, that would have just freaked her out even more so. So, again, there were a lot of things that I, I didn't know, still don't know but I know that I had to be there, right? I know that when it, when, it, when it was important, when my wife needed me, that I needed to be there for her spiritually, right? Whether it's us praying together or just emotionally, right? That support is so needed. And again, uh, we need dads to understand that this is y'all's process, right? It's not, it's not just mom. So just a few takeaways or tie-ins for you all is again, fathers play a critical role in maternal health. And, and what we can do as, far, as, as practitioners, as service providers, is to encourage them. So one of the things that's important to know is that mothers are less likely to experience maternal depression when fathers are involved. When, right. when dad is involved, moms are more likely to go to their well baby visits and get their immunizations and go to their prenatal appointments and all those things, right? It's important to know is that mothers are 1.5 times more likely to receive prenatal care in the first trimester or in two, right? When dads are involved um, and able to step up in that way. Uh, our last speaker talked about the importance of skin to skin contact and dads can also do skin to skin contact. And I remember when my daughter was born, the, the doctor actually recommended that I do it. I'm like, oh, I don't really know about that. I don't know if I want to do that, but it was important and it actually allow for me to bond with my daughter in a different way, right? That was, that was something that I thought was only my wife should be doing, but I was able to do the skin to skin and, and that was a time for us to bond and so forth, right? She, the, the baby's able to pick up on your scent and your heartbeat and so forth. And us men with our masculine selves need to, need to be able to get over some things and, and do that, right? One of the last things I'll say about, you know, what the research tells us is that when fathers are involved during pregnancy, they're more likely to be involved later on. So again, while mom's pregnant, a lot of times we don't, we're not going through the same things, right? Just physically. And so sometimes it doesn't feel that real, right? Like we see our partners, we see their belly getting bigger, but it's still like, this, this is not my thing. 
And so it's really important for dads to be able to go to those prenatal appointments and get involved because it, it feels that much more real, right? Um, and so later on, studies show that dads are more likely to be involved, right? One to three years later, um, especially when the partners, well, the, the parents are young, right? So the younger they are, the less likely they are to stay together long-term. Um, but then just in a very general sense, we know that relationships get broken up sometimes, but so that's why it's even more important for fathers to be involved during that prenatal period. And that's something that we want to encourage. The, the topic for the day of lifting black maternal health, we want to uplift and be a voice to fathers um, as it relates to supporting them and their support of moms and babies. Um, and just also just being more cognizant of the fact that when dad is better off, when he's in a, a good place financially and his health and all those things, that mom is better off, right? And, and baby is better off, right? So it, it all matters.